Um, this smaller handout that I, you know, just hand you guys is on um, what to do for frostbite and things like that. Doctors talked about. Um, uh, it just gives you kind of some information about what's going on for frostbite and you know which is kind of appropriate for this time of the year. Then also I um, found um, on uh, the internet, and I think it was because I was friends with Bruce. And if you're not Facebook friends with Bruce, I highly recommend it. He puts the best stuff out there. And um, so I'm going to pass out another, um, this here is called survival. There's only probably enough for about two for each table, okay? Okay. Um, and it's, well, actually what it is, it's just um, a quick start guide for newbies, people that are kind of new and getting into it, uh, the, uh, the survival business. And, it, you know, it, it talks about a lot of different things, you know, like water, food, you know, things like that. But the one thing that I really liked about this was, um, um, the first, one of the first things it says is before you begin to prepare, pray. And, um, you know, as a Christian, you put your trust in God. And, um, you know, I just want to say that I think through the years, God has little by little shown me how to, you know, and prepared me for what's coming up. I mean, just, you know, by little things that I was doing, you know, maybe collecting this or collecting that, you know, and then... Um, once my kids were grown, I was able to start going to meetings, you know, meeting people and, you know, finally getting into um, a meeting like this. So um, pray for discerning of spirits. It is very, very, very important. It will teach you what is, um, how, if you, when you can tell people are lying to you. You know, you can tell false religions. Um, we're, we're living in a place right, on a society right now where there are so many false religions and so many people telling you things that you don't even know what to believe anymore. You know, I mean, the government's saying this and this person's saying this. Um, so, uh, you know, that's real, it's just really important that we just stay focused. You guys all on seen that God. Washington photo at Valley Forge where he's kneeling in the woods mm -hmm. next to the horse. Do you know the story about that? I mean, if he was there by himself kneeling, uh, how did they know about it? I mean, he wasn't by himself. It was a British soldier who seen him, and he said, "We're in trouble because this guy prays, and these guys believe in what they're doing." You know, when you got people who are fighting for liberty and freedom, uh, you got a you got an arsenal, and and you're going to beat the British Empire. The sun never set on it, and you got a bunch of ragtag colonialists who are going to beat the British. And we did it because we did it. We were, we we believed in what we were doing. We were honorable people, and we believed in liberty. And we all do right here. So, and, and we all got to get out there and knock on doors, uh, uh, support and find good candidates. If you live in this area, I know a great one that's going to be running this year. And and so. Uh, and who might that be? Uh, Pat Brennan, <laughs> me. All right. And, and we got to run for the office. You know, you don't have to be. You don't have to be a Harvard-educated attorney or a successful businessman. You can be a ninth-grade dropout from Normandy High School and been in construction for 26 years and be tired of all the crap that they're putting down and say, I'm going to do it. I lost three times, but you know what, I'll go forth, whatever. All right. You know, if you don't have...